Welcome to Class 5 NCRT Mapping Your Way Chapter 8 Mathematics Part 6 and in this part the last part of the chapter we will be looking after the topics lines between states, distance between towns and Ashe school. Lines between states page number 123. Sabu is confused about the lines shown between the states. I travel from Delhi to Haryana, but I never saw any lines on the ground. How do you see them on the map? What is the child asking? That he traveled from Delhi to Haryana, but he did not see any lines on between the Delhi and Haryana, stating that Delhi is a separate state and Haryana is a substrate state. Like in the map, we do we see the lines? Yes or no? The states are separated with lines, imaginary lines. So the boy is saying those lines I did not see between the states. Then the girl answers no there are no lines painted on the ground. The map shows us where one state ends and the next state begins. Oh yes we paid the toll tax at the border. I saw a big board saying welcome to Haryana. When we go from one state to other state, we have to pay tax ma because we are crossing the border of one state and entering the other state. So for that the state, the entering state, we have to pay the tax that is called as toll tax. And there you can find welcome to Haryana. From when you see from the other side, you can see welcome to Delhi in that way. Okay, children. Now, if this is the map, see you can see lines here. So now each state is divided with a lay. You think if your lines are not there, can, how can we decide from where which is the Rajasthan, whether Rajasthan is bigger or Sikkim is bigger, Bihar is bigger, if there is no lines, only names are there, can we say no? Because on ground these lines will not be there, just the measurement which is there that whether will be written on a board or a board saying enter welcome to Rajasthan, welcome to Delhi in that way it will be written. But in the map it is given so to give you an exact picture to tell what is the size of the shape, what is the shape of the state, what is the size of the state and so on. Okay children, now next distance between towns page number 124 and this is map 6. This is Idlipur, Barfinagar, Dholakbhad, Belpur, Cholagat. And the scale is 1 centimeter on the paper equals to 10 kilometers. Now let us see the questions. These are 5 towns. What are these? These are 5 towns. Find out how many centimeters away is Idlipur from Barfi Nagar on the map. So, what they are asking? The distance from Idlipur to Barfi Nagar. So, what you will do for that? You will take a scale and measure the distance from Idlipur to Barfi Nagar. Okay? When you measure it, you will get it in which? Centimeters. The distance between Idlipur and Barfi Nagar is 5 centimeters on the map. Keep the scale and measure it. Now, how many kilometers will you have to travel if you go from Idlipur to Barfi Nagar? If you travel from Idlipur to Barfi Nagar, they are asking how many kilometers you have to travel because this is on the paper 5 centimeters. So, if you are traveling how many kilometers? So, how you will do? Given scale is 1 centimeter equals to 10 kilometers and what is the distance you got? 5 centimeters. So, 5 into 10 that equals to 50 kilometers. Understood children? Now, thus we have to travel 50 kilometers to go from Idlipur to Barfi Nagar. There is a place called Tukpa Gram midway in midway between Idlipur and Barfi Nagar. Midway means exactly in between. Mark it with T. So, what is the distance you got from here to here? 5 centimeters. So, what is half of 5? 2.5. So, exactly at 2.5 keep a scale and 2.5 you mark a dot and mark it with T. Okay, understood? Now, the next question, fourth question. A town called Jalebipur is 35 kilometers away from Cholaghat and Doklabad. So, what is the distance? 
35 kilometers. If you go from here also, it's 35 kilometers. If you come from here also, it is 35 kilometers. Where do you think it can be? Mark J for it. So for this, it is given 35 kilometers on the ground. So for that, we have to convert it into onto the paper. Then only we can mark it. No, Jalebi Pur is 35 kilometers away from both Chola Ghat and Dhoklabad. So here the scale is 1 centimeter is 10 kilometers. So one way is directly you can do it like this. See, 1 centimeter is 10 kilometers. So for traveling 35 kilometers, how much you, what is the centimeters? Like this also you can do. Then you will get 35 divided by 10 that equal to 3.5. Otherwise, normal method is or this I can write it as 10 kilometers is 1 centimeters. Just I have interchanged it. Next, 1 kilometer, if 10 kilometers is 1 centimeter, 1 kilometer will be 1 by 10 that is 0 0.1 centimeters. As the distance from Jalebipur from both Cholaghat and Dolakbad on the map is 0 0.1 into 35 that is equal to 3.5. Understood children, the two ways of doing this, this is the normal way which we have to follow, the exact way. Otherwise, the simple thing, how you will find out, 1 centimeter is 30, th sorry, <coughs> 10 kilometer. 35 kilometers is how much means? 35 divided by 10, that equals to 3.5. This is the easiest way which you can do. And the normal correct way of doing is, if 1 centimeter is 10 kilometers, then 1 kilometer is 1 by 10, that is 0 0.1 centimeters. Then for 35 kilometers, 0 0.1 into 35, that is equal to 3.5. Because 35 ones are 5, 35 and point of the one number, so 3.5 centimeter. So what you have to do here, you can't keep the scale in this zigzag format. Yes or no children, can you keep the scale in this zigzag format to find out 3.5? No. So the easiest method is, take the scale okay and then take a thread thread you all know thread thaga and then measure 3.5 on the thread okay take the thread keep it on the scale and measure exactly 3.5 cut it and then put the thread along the line and where you get 3.5 mark it as j for jalepi pur which is 35 kilometers away on the ground and 3.5 centimeters away in the paper. So, from Dolakbad also it should be 3.5, from here also 3.5. So, here imaginately I am doing here, but how you will do? You will take the scale and then take a thread, measure exactly 3.5 centimeters of thread on this scale, cut that thread for only 3.5 and then place it here onto these curves and then measure it. Children? So, Next, so we can mark Jalebipur at a distance of 3.5 centimeters from both Cholaghat and Dokhlabhad as shown below. Sorry, not as shown below, as shown there. So I have marked it somewhere here, okay, children, and I have marked it as J. You will do with your thread and scale. Using the scale, you measure 3.5 on the thread, cut that, keep on those curved lines, and keep the exact mark. Now, next one, measure the length of the route between Bhelpur and Chola Ghat. So, now they are asking us to measure the route between Bhelpur. Where is Bhelpur? Here. And where is Chola Ghat? It is here. So, how you will measure it? Just now, as I told you, you will take the thread, keep the thread exactly here, one end, and take it exactly till the next end, exactly placing on these curves. Don't miss the curves at all. You have to place exactly on the, once again, I'll erase everything. Now, now you will take this thread, if this is a thread, exactly I'll take the thread like this, like this, like this, exactly on the curves. Don't miss the curves. And the other end till here. And then cut the thread here, then take the scale, Keep it on the scale, take, keep this thread on the scale and measure the distance because direct scale we can't put it there. That's why we are using the thread. So the distance between Belpur and Cholakbat on the map is about 6 centimeters. So 6 centimeters means how much? 1 centimeter is 10 kilometers. So 6 centimeters, 6 into 10, 60 kilometers. Ashi school, page number 124. Ashi school looks like this from the top. Use the squares to find out. 
So, how does the Ashi school looks from the top? It looks like this. Ok children, now you have to uh, use the squares to find out how many times bigger is the area of assembly ground than that of the office. First, what is the assembly ground count? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that 5 threes are 15. So, how many squares are there? 15 squares and office. Where is office? Here is office. How many squares are there in the office? 3 squares. So, 15 and 3. So, what we will write it first here? The assembly ground covers 15 complete squares and office covers 3 complete squares. And what is the question asked here? How many times bigger? How many times bigger means 15 is how many times bigger than 3? 5 times because 3 5s are 15 you will get it or divide the 15 by 3 you will get it as 5. So, no. So, how many times bigger it is? The area of assembly ground is 5 times bigger that of the office. Now, how much is the length and the width of each classroom? They are asking what is the length and width of each classroom. So, what you will do? Length and width. Length and width you find out. You can see that exactly it will be same for all the classrooms. So, now let us find out. Now, length of the classroom. Keeping the scale, I found out the length is 2 centimeters. So, length of the classroom on the ground is. So, see the scale. Scale is given here. 2 centimeter is equal to 5 meters. 2 centimeter we got it. So, 2 centimeter means 5 meters. So, now we will go to the breadth. Breadth of the because we got the length as 5 meters. The breadth of the classroom I am getting nearly 1.6. As before I said some may get 1.5, 1.6, 1.7. 1 so, depends on the way you are seeing. Ok children, 1.6 centimeters. So, here the scale is 2 centimeters is 5 meters. So, for 1 centimeter how much it will be? 5 by 2 that is 2.5 meters. So, that is the breadth of the classroom equal to for 1.6 centimeters 1.6 into 2.5 that is 4. How you will get this 1.6 into 2.5 that is 16 into 25. If you multiply how much you will get it? You will get it as 400. But one point after this, one point after this. So, total two points. So, 4.00 that is 4 meters. So, which is the answer? Length is 5 meters and the width is 4 meters. Understood children? The next one. All the classroom in Ashi school look like this. All the classroom it looks like this means exactly opposite to door windows are there and when you enter the door on the right side side blackboard, blackboard opposite display board. Le uh, sorry, left side of this notice board like this it is there. Uh, look carefully and answer which of these is exactly opposite to the blackboard, Almara windows notice board or display board which is exactly opposite to blackboard. This is blackboard. Opposite to blackboard is display board. The display board is exactly opposite to blackboard. Now, look at the school map once again and guess and mark where would be this. Once again, we are asking us to school mark and guess and mark. Blackboard in 3rd A and 7th. Where is 3rd A? This and 7th. A blackboard. When you enter the door onto the right side is the black door, blackboard. Sorry. So, in 3rd A where it will be? It is here. And next in 7th where it is? It is here. Because when you enter it should be on the right side. Can you keep it here? If you keep it, it is exactly opposite to the window. Exactly opposite to window is notice board. That is why it is coming here. Next. Almara in 4th and 10th. So, where is the Almara? Where, uh, exactly opposite side of the door to the other corner. So, Almara in 4th and 10th. So, where is the 4th? Exactly opposite onto this corner, this corner children. Okay? And then 10th that is this corner exactly opposite to this side. Notice board in 5th and 6th B. So, notice board. Where is the notice board? When you enter the door onto the left side and opposite side is windows. So, where is fifth class? Here is the fifth class. When you enter, it should be on left side and exactly so it is here. And next, where is sixth B? It is here. So, when you enter opposite uh, side of this side. So, it is here. And next, last seat of the middle row in second class. So, where will be the last seat? Exactly, last seat will be here. Display board in first class. Where is the first class? Here. Display board is exactly opposite to the blackboard. So, display board will be here. Now, can a child sitting in third A see the playground? With third A is here. Windows here, doors is here and playground is here. Can the child see? No, because here again classrooms are there. So, no. Children, I hope you understood till here. Yes, by this we have completed our chapter 
mapping your way okay thank you we'll continue in the next video with a new chapter till then have a nice day thank you